Hello and welcome to another Google Chrome Developer Preview video. Today I'm going to be showing you Google Chrome 6.0.479.0. This is a developer's build and it's the latest up to date one today. I did post one of these a few days ago with a slightly older build but there was a bug in it which caused me to slightly mess up during the video uh, which led to some comments and annotations that weren't being read etc so I pulled down that video and decided to do this new video seeing as this is a new build so the first thing we're going to cover is the user interface the user interface has actually changed since the last build which was two days ago um, like I said before I'm going to show you a little comparison I have I have this Google Chrome here which is the new one and I have Google Chrome 5 opened here one small thing you will notice is the uh, the change in the color of the interface. We've gone from Google Chrome 5's slightly light blue to this new gray slash sort of brown is pretty much gray and it's a lot more of a subtle color it's very minimalistic and it does actually improve the browsing experience once you get used to it. After using Chrome 6 for a long while I went back to Chrome 5 and I found the blue to be very leery compared to the grey that we have in the new version of Chrome. One thing you probably will not notice but they're trying to be as small as possible with the user interface here and they have shaved a few pixels off the bottom of the bookmark bar. You probably cannot tell but there is a tiny little bit of extra space for you to browse on now. Um, you probably can't see it very well in the video but there's a tiny bit of space extra here where they've slightly reduced the size of this bar here. Another thing in this latest build is they've removed the surroundings for the buttons and that only shows up when you actually go on a website. When you hover over the buttons the square comes up around them whereas it's usually there by default in Chrome 5. They're already there like that. But I prefer this new look because it, it just looks so much more of a unified interface. Everything sort of works together and flows together. There's no individual buttons. It's just all one bar and I like the fact that they've removed the squares around until you hover over. I don't mind having them while you hover over but overall I think this is a much more polished user interface and it just seems so much more simple and up to date than the previous versions. It looks much more modern. Another thing that's changed is the address bar here. The favourites icon is over here now and there is no longer a button to, re to um, go or to stop the uh, the search and it no longer says uh, type to search or whatever that just said there yeah type to search it doesn't say that anymore either which is you know it's a small change but it's a welcome one and up here now is something that just shows you the security of a website if I click on this it will say the identity for the website has not been verified but it says that I have visited this site previously so this sort of just verifies if I go here it says that this is a verified website because it's obviously Google so it knows that this is all secure and that. Um, so yeah overall I like the new user interface it's very nice. Uh, the other changes include the removal of this button here which is the control button which basically shows you all of the commands like cut copy paste print etc all of that has been moved into the um, actual settings Thing. The spanner's the other way around, there's no little arrow, sort of another change to the interface there. And it's all here, you've got the edit, you've got cut, copy, paste, you've got all the zoom functions here, you've got print down here. All of the features that were once in that control panel are now in here. And it's very well done because the ones that stand out are edit and zoom because they have their own actual buttons in the user interface. And you can't actually click on these, you can only click on the uh, individual buttons here. As you can see they don't highlight as I hover over them. I think overall Google Chrome 6 is a lot better in the terms of a user interface. It's a lot more of a friendly design and everything's almost ex where you'd expect it to be. I still think that a minimalistic browsing experience is a good browsing experience. Moving on, if I close this I've brought a few tabs up to show you some of the more in-depth features of Google Chrome 6. There is a native PDF reader integrated into the browser so you no longer have to install the Acrobat PDF reader anymore 
and you won't have to worry about the uh, security updates anymore as it says here as well because you often get I often get in on my computer it says um, Acrobat needs to be updated or you know uh, something along those lines and this will not be the case with Chrome 6 because there's a PDF reader built in so you don't need to install those extra functions uh, Chrome 6 supports VP8, a new royalty free container for web video and the WebM codec so this is a uh, once again this is similar to Firefox they're pioneering in online high definition video and the latest formats of you know coding uh, synchronization Chrome 6 has two new options for syncing browser data extensions and auto form fills um, that's quite interesting so hopefully it will bring over your auto form fills from other browsers so if you've remembered your username and password in Firefox it will remember that same username and password in Chrome uh, smart URL bar shows content symbols. Um, that's yeah, that's pretty much what I showed you a minute ago. And there's a rumor that there's going to be graphics acceleration, as in Internet Explorer 9. They're working on that in IE 9, and hopefully it's going to be integrated into Google Chrome 6. There are various uh, levels of support for HTML5 and all of those other codecs and such in 6 so far but there's been no graphics acceleration and it could be integrated into a future build and one more thing is there is a strong word that Google Chrome 6 is going a step further in pioneering a fast browsing experience in that it's going to have a feature called predictive pre-connections which analyzes a user's browsing habits over time and if you enter a search term it will automatically preload some of the pages in the background that you're most likely to visit so say say like I said before I visit Engadget often so if I started typing EN Engadget.com Engadget is at the top here so Google Chrome 6 will automatically be loading that website for me so as soon as I click it it's there this is not officially announced by Google I do not believe but there is a strong rumour on the internet um, that it's going to be the case which is sort of interesting because this is similar to you know the cache of a web browser or the cookies etc so it's quite interesting because it usually caches it locally so if I've been on Engadget now there will be sort of like copies of certain bits of Engadget stored on my computer so that it's quicker when I come back to Engadget to load the web page so it doesn't have to load it all again so if this feature is integrated it will make it even faster which is very very interesting so that concludes my review of the latest build of Google Chrome 6 6.0.479.0 overall this is a massive improvement over Chrome 5 and it is definitely a lot faster there are not even that many bugs in this build of the browser which I'm very pleased about so I'll be looking forward to a stable release of Chrome 6, hopefully sometime later in the year. Stay tuned for future videos on other browsers and more in the Browser War series.